Cloud store incidents are central to the incident response cycle for your security operations center. Cloud store can help automate and orchestrate many parts of the incident response cycle. The incident response cycle consists of six steps. First, prepare your environment to prevent attacks. Then, monitor your systems and identify potential threats. If a threat is found, work to contain and eradicate the threat. Once the threat has been removed, recover your systems as they were before the incident. Finally, discuss lessons learned, then start at step one again. To access Cloud Soar, log in to your Sumo Logic account. Then, in the left navigation pane, click Cloud Soar. When you log in to Cloud Soar, if your assigned role allows, you can click Incidents in the top navigation bar. Here, you'll see a list of all incidents for your organization. You can click the column headers to sort by various categories, or you can use the search bar to search for particular keywords in your incidents. For example, if you click Mine, you'll only see incidents that have been assigned to you. You can add additional columns to help you sort and filter these incidents. Click the Column Configuration icon. Here, you can add additional columns to help you sort your incidents, like who owns the incident, when the incident was opened, the incident's severity, and other categories. Add as many as you like, and click Apply. When you click an incident, you'll be taken to the Overview tab. Here, you'll see basic information about the incident, like the severity of the incident and the time the incident was opened. This incident was imported from Sumo Logic Cloud Sim, so it contains the Cloud Sim incident ID as well as a short description based on the MITRE ATT&CK framework. You can enter edit mode to edit any of this information manually if you have permission to do so. These fields can also be edited automatically by a playbook. In the right pane, you can select different widgets to show or hide them. The widgets contain information like the investigators, status history, description, and external alerts. If you click the Operations tab, you'll be taken to the War Room. The War Room is a central location for all the information, analysis, and actions related to an incident. The War Room contains a history of the incident including any tasks and investigators that have been assigned, playbooks that have been added, entities that are being tracked, and any other notes or attachments. You can manually add and execute playbooks here in the Playbook tab, or you can see which playbooks have already been added to the incident. The Tasks and Note tabs also help you coordinate efforts among all your SOC teammates. Inside an incident, you can investigate entities by clicking the Entities tab. Here, you'll see a list of all known entities involved in this incident. In this example, we can see some IP addresses, usernames, and file hashes listed as entities associated with this incident. From the Documentation tab, you can generate and export reports using templates called base docs. These reports contain summary information about the incident, like the incident open time, close time, severity, and actions taken. Finally, in the left navigation pane, there may be several actions. If CloudSim and CloudSoar are linked, you can open the insight in CloudSim for further investigation, as shown here. If you have permission to do so, you can also use these buttons to add additional teammates as investigators to the incident, or manually close the incident. I hope this video helps you understand incidents in CloudSoar. Thank you for joining.